They are. If I'm not mistaken, I could have swore there was a guy sitting across from Skip Bayless about a month ago. About six weeks ago, actually. Hmm. It said something very similar to this. Mm. You remember that guy, Skip? I, actually, I do. That's why I want to do this topic today. <laughs> You up, you were upset oh, then. You I probably even you. more upset now. You got that oh. right. Skip, look, I'm not saying he's Larry Bird because I don't think people. Larry Bird is my favorite player. He asked my really? sister, my brother. Girl, that's. I can't get it through my head. How can you do this? He's your favorite player. favorite player. I had Bird T-shirts, Bird posters. I had the one him sitting in the bird's nest. Uh, I had those shoes. Larry Bird, so I know 24, 10, and six. Okay. That's his career average. Skip, when you look at him, and what you got to understand about Luka, because Luka can score the ball like Larry. He doesn't rebound, but he can play make. Larry was really the first, uh, uh, the big, uh, uh, big forward that they ran the offense through. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, they ran the offense through the point guard. Mm -hmm. Now, DJ was on the team that had Tiny Archibald one year. But Larry Bird, his six assists tells you that he could facilitate and could distribute the basketball. True. Luka's ability to score... He's so skilled, the entire offense runs through him. But what people don't realize, Skip, Larry didn't get to the NBA until he was 22. Luca's 20. Hmm. Luca's 20 years old right now. He got to the NBA at 19. Mm -hmm. So, and he's averaging. He did get to play professional basketball yeah. in Europe at a high level. Sure. He was Go playing, ahead. He was playing with grown men yep. at like it's 15, 16 there. years of age. Yep. But Luca right now is averaging 29, 29, 10, and 9, basically. Let that sink in. He's third, Skip, he's third in PER. Mm -hmm. He's number one in usage. And you see, Skip, Draymond Green is a very good defender. Draymond Green has been defensive player of the year. And he was torn with Draymond, had him on a stream. Lucas, he, he's legit. Skip, I, I told you, he, he's the real deal. And he's the closest thing. Because prior to, we had never seen anything like Bird. We had never seen a guy that could, Jerry West could score like Larry, could assist the ball, but he was a guard. Um, we never seen anything like Larry because we never seen anybody that could do what he could do. The last guy to win three straight MVPs. There have been only been a handful of three straight MVPs. Mm -hmm. I think Russell, Chamberlain, and, and Bird was the last one. And Bird was doing this when they had, when Magic was in the league, when Jordan was in the league. Mm -hmm. Jordan was in the league, and old Larry got them three things in a row. Mm. He did that, Skip. But I think the thing is just hard, Skip, because we've never seen a guy since Larry, a white guy, because, Skip, you know, we only compare white guys to white guys, black guys to black guys. We ain't never seen a white guy say, oh, that's a, he look like Larry, he look like uh, uh, Jordan. Mm. <laughs> and they never say, they never say, uh, uh, even, even uh, LeBron. LeBron has a lot of uh, bird in him. But we compare him to who, Magic? That's true. <laughs> I'll, I'll buy that. So, yeah. but Skip, for me, Luca and like you, and I think Steve Kerr said that step back, James Harden, I, I've never seen anything like this step back, but he did. But James Harden is on another level. Okay. But he's added that to his game, mm -hmm. his ability to handle the ball, his ability to facilitate, and to score. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Skip, he's the closest thing to Bird. He's the closest thing to Bird that we've seen since mm -hmm. Larry Bird. This is blasphemy. <laughs> this is heresy. <laughs> this is please, God, don't strike us with lightning talk. Oh, wow. Because I'm afraid that we're going to get struck. I I'm looking up right now because I'm waiting for lightning to come through this roof. <laughs> nah. Don't jinx it. This is Larry Bird we're talking about. <laughs> Larry Joe Bird. You, Larry Joe Bird. It's like, is this fair or foul? Well, in this case, it's foul as in F-O-W-L as in bird foul, right? It's way foul. It, it, it nauseates me to even think we're talking about this because <laughs> I've been watching this kid, and I give you, the only point I give you is he's 20 years of age. 20. But every time I turn on my TV, he's this and he's that. He's special. I keep hearing how special he he's is. He's special, Skip. No, he's not special. Yes, he is. I, I'm sorry. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing superstar from Luka Doncic. Not yet. <clears throat> and again, I'm watching him a lot, and I'm watching these numbers a lot. And every fourth quarter I watch him in, he comes apart either physically or mentally. Because in the fourth quarters, the book on Luka already is Rough him up. just beat him up. <laughs> the Lakers have been just beating the snot out of him. Yep. And it's foul, and it's F-O-U-L foul, but it's just the way of the – it's the law of this jungle. It's right. going to be how it's going to be. Right. You're going to get beat up until you fight back mm -hmm. and show them it doesn't bother me a bit. Right. 
Larry Bird was the baddest you-know-what, and if you want to put it in the white guy category, put it in there. But he was the baddest white guy who ever walked on a basketball he court. He was. He was. He was a cold-blooded killer. The, the, he was as much a cold-blooded assassin as anyone this side of MJ <laughs> because he scared people. He talked a lot of you-know-what, and he backed it up. A lot of people believe he was the greatest trash talk ever. He did it kind of under his breath yeah. a little bit. He'd lean over and tell you. you That's know. why Dr. J fought him. He said, Kimmy Holmes, yeah. catch yeah. this one. Yeah. Walk up. Walk up. <laughs> and then uh, and Dr. Lay, oh, you talking to me like this here? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's put this in perspective. Right now, Luca is fourth in this league in scoring. That's pretty great. He's third in PER. Player efficiency rate. That's pretty great. Yes. He's third in assists. That's that's really good when you add all that up. He's tied for 47th in fourth quarter shot attempts. He's tied for 38th in fourth quarter points scored. That, that's not very good because come fourth quarter, when it's time to go Larry Bird, he, he can't go Larry well, Bird. Skip, that tells me one thing, one or two things. Maybe he's, shy, maybe he's shying away, but I believe they're taking the ball out of his hands. They say, you know what? We know what you can do, Luca. Okay, Powell, uh, uh, Powell. Okay, Hardaway Jr. Okay, other guys. We're going to make Seth Curry. We're going to make these other guys be the skip. I'm not going to let Luca beat me. Okay, but I've seen games where LeBron, you can try to take it out of his hands. You can't yes. get it out of his hands. He's too big and too strong and too physical, well, and he'll just say, get out of my... Boy, I'm coming. Well, Luca Skip, Luca's gonna have to get a little okay. tougher. He's gonna have to get a little stronger. Skip, he still got look. Yeah, he, he, he still got a little twenty. But give him, wait till he gets he, about. He 20. actually looks like he's not in that great a shape to me. Nah. <laughs> he does. No, I'm he serious. Got no, he got he no. Little, he got no definition he's now. Get a little pudgy. He got, I he don't got know. No, he, got no, he got no definition. Yeah, I'm. I'm not sure. <laughs> and then, I gotta say this before I go deeper in the stats. Here's one thing you cannot do in this league, and so far he's getting away with it because he's the next. He's the next hot guy. You know, he's the it kid. But against my Spurs, it was back on December 26th, he blows off a pick, Porzingis pick, Derek White, and so he's got just a free run to the basket, and Seth Curry, not Steph, obviously, mm -hmm. Seth Curry goes sweet behind the back, bounce pass to him, and as he goes up, if we could see it right now, as he goes up to dunk, he's laughing. He started laughing while he got the ball because he thought it was such a great pass, and he's laughing, and he laughed all the way down the court. Larry Bird never laughed no. before he made a shot at the rim, like a, like a bunny shot. Yeah. He didn't laugh because you don't laugh. Because somebody's going to get even with you for laughing. Skip all that, all that time last night. You know Larry done going to the three-point shootout competition and asked which one of you you know was finishing, finishing second. Yeah, and you know what that was. Yeah, was. exactly. Yeah. I'm, surprised he, different I'm surprised he didn't get fired on, Skip. Well, today he would not get away with that. Exactly. I would hope not. Yeah. But, oh, hell yeah, yeah. And then he shoot the Skip. You remember he shot the last of uh, the three-point ball and then held it up there like this here before it switched the net. Okay, but that's a three-point shootout, and he was already Larry Bird. Larry <laughs> effing Bird, right? Yeah, okay. well, he was okay. Larry Bird coming in. I mean, he... He, he won yep. Rookie of the Year with 33 votes over Magic, who got three, who led the team to the... Skip, he was... Skip, I'm not saying he's... Let, okay, see, let I me, think let me sum this up for you. Right now, Luca, yeah. Mr. Step Back. Yeah. He's shooting 32% from the three-point line. That's 138th of the 148 qualified three-point shooters. That ain't good. That ain't okay, good. That's, it's just not good. And he misses <laughs> a lot in the fourth quarter he when does. I think the game's on the line. Like, you got to make that right. one. You know, it's wide open. You, you, he can create space because he's 6'7". Right. Free throws, he's making 78%, which is better than LeBron, but that ranks 70th of 114 qualified right. free throw shooters. Right. Larry Bird led the league in free throw shooting four times, and in his career, five times he was over 90%. Oh, yeah. Don't give me Larry Bird. No. And look, Close, Gibby. Okay, I know Steve Kerr, he got full of himself because he got to coach some of the greatest teams we've ever seen. That team right now is 9-33, and 33, and yeah. on some nights, I think Steve Kerr gets a little full of himself and tries to remind everybody he used to be the sage, oh. the oracle we all yeah. went yeah. to. Yeah. Give us the historical perspective because you played with Michael Jordan, yeah. and now he's still trying to give us historical perspective for the 9-33 and 33 yeah. Golden State Warriors, and I think he's laying it on a little thick. He did, he did play with two pro – uh, well, I mean, where you have Tim Duncan. I mean, he played with Longside Duncan. No, no, okay, he, I, I got he, that. He went, he went oh, with Joe. Okay. But, Skip, he, he was up close. He did see Larry now. Skip, now, you look, I'm not saying the kid is Larry because Larry was – like I said, he, man, he bust a lot of people up. That, uh, that uh, I think, the Eastern Conference Finals against Dominique, 
when he and Dominique was going back and forth, Skip, that was one of the I great... I saw it. It was just all-time, all <laughs> That was in the old Omni. It was. Um, he's special, but this kid, Skip, to be 20 years old and to be able to do what he's doing, I mean, there, there are not very many key kids that they turn the keys over to you this early and says, okay, it's yours. Go do. Sink or swim. Mm. And that's what they did with this kid. You want to know the truth? I'm actually trying to take a little pressure off him because he doesn't need this on his shoulders yet. That's a big yet. comparison. Come on. No, 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 really? Hey, you, you got you to gotta own it. When you have that kind yeah. of pressure to, I mean, that's a big name to, to live legend. up to. To a legend. Larry Legend. It's a yeah. big name to live up to. Uh, either way, you're not sold yet. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.